Good morning, YouTube. September 26th, 7 o'clock in the morning. Lemon Grove, San Diego, California. And I'm Babette. And those are my freesia coming up very nicely. You know, I don't think they're just freesia. If I remember right, I mixed bulbs in there. Maybe not. Maybe they're just freesia. Freesia generally doesn't come up looking like Watsonia. And leeks are growing strong. Nothing seems to be wilted. It was 97 yesterday with 11% humidity and we're supposed to get the same today. Artichoke straightened up. Yellow butterfly weed. Red butterfly weed. One bulb's coming up and some tomato plants. Catnip need to be cut back. Oh, let's see. No old charred seeds coming up yet. Running or pinning down strawberry runners. That's the new basket. That's even a newer basket. That's a whole bunch of very old Brussels sprout seeds. Something's coming up. It's more than likely celery. I should have celery everywhere this year. Here's the herbs that never made it into the ground or in a larger pot. There's still time. There's always time. There's always next year. The rebloom on stock. Planted celery, or planted lettuce leaves. Sage. Here's the coleus that I broke off by accident. Stuck in the ground. They grew. If I tried to do that intentionally, I'd get nothing. Planted a whole package. Planted a whole package of lavender seeds around the bottom of the lavender. This sage is doing very well. Perfect time for dehydrating since it's 11% humidity yesterday and it's supposed to be the same if not worse today. Let's see. Radishes. Wandering June. It looks like I just might have some beets coming up. And there's the cabbage. Savoy cabbage? Yeah, that was Savoy cabbage. Oh, morning glory sticking his little face out. Butterfly weed. This is the one that had the butterfly placing her eggs. So I need to start looking for little nibbles. I think those are our old nibbles. Yeah, his girlfriend's gone. She disappeared yesterday. So I'm missing a chicken. And there is a whole new flush of dragon fruit buds. I saw, I think, four. I only see one. They hide quite well until they bloom. And they're massive. Yeah, there's another one down there. Oh, I need to come and collect the seeds. Okay, they're dropping. Stock, waiting for seeds. Coleus, waiting for seeds. Basil, don't want seeds. I don't want tough, flavorless plant. Peach tree is definitely up over the fence. Garlic that didn't get pulled last year. 
looks like it's divided out into three. Tons of butterfly weed babies coming up there. Don't see any caterpillar damage. Just spider seed heads. Waiting for these to dry enough to collect seeds off of. Nice deformed flowers. Can't wait to see if they reproduce next year the same way. Oh, that's an odd one. Petals that died out. The center. New set of petals. Got more buds coming. Mama strawberry plant. There's the string beans. Yellow, purple, and green. Did I see a baby here yesterday? But look what the heat is doing. Just walk. Oh, there's a baby. Down in there somewhere is the pea plants. I'll know next year. Put the peas on the sunny side. And there's peas. Didn't realize they grew so much slower than beans. Now that's the experiment. I was asked if I eat my horseradish. Yes, I do. First, I eat the leaves in salads or on sandwiches. They're really good in roll-ups with thinly sliced roast beef horseradish, young horseradish leaves, minced onion, little cream cheese. But after the plant completely dies back, that's when it's dug. Unfortunately, for some reason, mine never get much bigger than my little finger. It's maybe two pencils side by side, which is fine. Just scrub them really well. You don't have to peel them and then grade them. But I can't remember when you put the vinegar in, do you put it in right away so it's really hot, or you wait and put it in? I'll have to look that up. But one way makes it hotter. It cools down the other way, but I love it hot. And I usually just mix it with ketchup. I'm not big on the horseradish and mayonnaise. I had food poisoning in a restaurant from that one time and I, I shy away from it for some unknown reason. But yes, I do eat my radish. Horseradish. This used to be solid horseradish. But because I haven't dug it in I think like three years, the plants are diminishing. And yes, it's highly invasive. I have found it coming up on the outside of its box and I just dig it up and it dies. It doesn't come back if you dig it up. Let's see, anything coming up here now? No. No, cabbage is pretty much all gone. We got a tomato. Don't want a tomato. And that's what's left of my black seeded Simpson. Nothing over here. Oh good, we have some grass coming up. An oxalis. Chicken bone. Okay, let's see. Lots of celery. Some of the onions started coming up back there. And these are the onions from when the planter was dumped. I see I'm losing onions over here. Nothing's new. I need to that's water. I need to water. And there's some, well, they're fairly dry. My planet Swiss chard in four places. Birthday tomato is starting to bloom. Hopefully it sets something before the weather cools down. The only problem is, is tomatoes do not set if it's under 65 and over 85. And I think 97 qualifies as over 85. 
Thank you for watching. Bye for now.